Meditation 40. Did you witness the Lord? This morning when Krishna took his breakfast, he kept asking for more of his favorite items. Wasn't it wonderful to see his eyes widen with pleasure each time a preparation was put on the table before him? Did you witness this event? Or were you distracted by the material nature? While Krishna was milking the cows, he kept squirting the milk on the cowherd boys. His aim was terrific. He got some of them in the eyes, others in the nose and mouth. Because of the milk, his friend seemed to be crying, choking, or suffering from runny noses. Every one of them got soaked with milk as they laughed and played with their dear most friend. Did you witness this event? Or were you distracted by the material nature? The other day, the cowherd boys were taking turns racing with Krishna and Balaram on their backs. No one could understand what was happening because it seemed that whoever carried Krishna would sometimes come in first, winning the race, and another time would come in last. To those of us watching at a distance, we noticed that Krishna was making himself heavier or lighter at different times to make the race more exciting. Did you witness this event? Or were you distracted by the material nature? When lunchtime came and Krishna was called to come and eat, he did not want to stop playing in the fields. So he exchanged clothes with one of the Gopals asking him to eat in his place. He instructed his friend not to speak so that no one would guess it was not he. When the young Gopal who was imitating Krishna tasted the wonderful preparations that had been cooked with so much love by Radharani, he immediately began shouting, Radhe Sham, Radhe Sham, Jai Jai Sri, Radhe Sham. Of course, everyone noticed that this was not Krishna's voice. But as he started dancing around the table, his turban came off, revealing his actual identity. Did you witness this event? Or were you distracted by the material nature? The gopis were trying to finish certain duties so they could join Krishna in the rasa dance. They were still talking about the events of yesterday's dance when Krishna changed into his Nishringadev form and started chasing everyone. What a delight it was. Seeing the residents reciprocate with the Lord in such an astonishing way. Did you witness this event? Or were you distracted by the material nature? The other day Krishna had a message delivered to both the groups of Radha and Chandravali. The message said that to whichever of the two groups danced most gracefully, he would personally give his full association for the next several days. Both groups came dressed so gorgeously and danced across from each other, constantly looking to see if Krishna had arrived and was pleased by watching them. 
they became so tired that at the end they could hardly stand. To the delight of the cowherd boys, Krishna did not even show up, but was playing and dancing with them instead. How the Gopals enjoyed Krishna's association and his practical joke get the gopi camps to appreciate each other. Did you witness this event? Or were you distracted by the material nature? The next day, when everyone came together for the Maha dance and observed the beautiful form of Krishna, they all began dancing most intensely. The Gopals played the drums very forcefully, but the Gopis surpassed them. Several devotees hung from trees to observe the ecstatic performances. Krishna summoned everyone to come down out of the trees to join the dance. And then he himself climbed the tree and played most divinely for all the residents who danced and danced for his pleasure. Did you witness this event? Were you there in the divine dance? Or were you dancing with Maya? Krishna and his associates are very eager to give their association to all souls. However, those souls who are distracted by material nature will not be able to witness or participate in the divine activity. How unfortunate they have made themselves. For many lifetimes, I have been one of those unfortunate entities. I cannot continue this existence any longer. I cannot deprive myself of witnessing and participating in the Lord's divine pastimes. What must I do to be free of this stagnation? I am ready to pay any price necessary. But is there any hope for me? As I am most foolish and stubborn. 